rolling two dice, you can never guess what you will get. Or can you? When we roll a six-sided dice, it will randomly give us any one of its six numbers. These are the outcomes of the event of rolling a dice. And together, they comprise the sample space of a dice roll. We may not be able to predict which outcome we are going to get in a particular roll. But finding the probability of each will help us know the likelihood of an outcome. In this case, there are six possible outcomes in total. A fair dice can give us any of the six outcomes. So, there exists one out of six chances for us to get a number from one to six on a roll. For example, probability to get a two on a roll is one out of six, which is one by six. In other words, the probability of an event is number of favourable outcomes upon total number of possible outcomes. Favourable outcomes are the expected outcomes of an event. And of course, all outcomes are equally likely. Meaning, they have an equal chance or probability of occurring. But what about rolling two dice? Which can give us anything from 2 to 12. Will it be equally likely to get any number from 2 to 12? Let's find out. Let's list 1 to 6 on both dice separately and then get the sum of each pair to see the possible outcomes we can get. Okay, here we go. So, they are getting arranged diagonally. Sitting on the main diagonal, 7 simply appears in this table more than any other number making it the most likely outcome. We can easily calculate its likelihood or probability of an event. For example, here, 7 appears 6 times out of a total of 36 possibilities, giving it a probability of 6 by 36 or 1 by 6, the highest of all outcomes. By the way, Another notable thing here is that 7 lies in the middle of our range of outcomes. Coming back to our previous discussion, it is clear that the likelihood of events in the case of two dice is not equal. In other words, all outcomes are not equally likely. So, there we have it. In a game of a single dice, you cannot do anything as the chances of winning are equal. But in two dice games, you can strategize as per the most likely events. But say, we are playing some unusual board game where we have to use two 12-sided dice. What do you think the most likely outcome would be? Let me know in the comment section below. And for more such engaging learning with crystal clear conceptual clarity, subscribe to the Baiju's channel.